<laughs> right. you, you've seen it before. Right, right. When you find I, it, then I, the charcoal bright red. This is it. And then you can find accountability. <laughs> <laughs> you find government's charcoal to it's bright it's, red. It's a core fact accountability. I enjoy it. Johnny, first and foremost, let me take this opportunity because I haven't seen you for quite some time. You are doing a very good job for the Mother Ghana. Remain undaunted. This is our society, right. and it will take me and you to mm. do it. That's why I always watch Johnny's Bite. <laughs> the general watches Johnny's yes, Bite. Very, every day. Thank I you very much. And I is devoid of insults, mm -hmm. but straight to the point, mm. factual and fearless. Rahim. Hey, Charlie, no be joke. You know, the be pressure joke. people like Johnny can give you. No, no. You know, get gray hair, you go get gray hair. I'm innocent. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying, that the pressure Johnny and his people, <laughs> mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you, you know, get gray hair, you go get. So your best bet is not mm. to have hair. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Salaamu Alaikum. Good morning. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Yesterday, the President of the Republic spoke. He made some announcements, no smarts, whatever it is. He spoke about all of those ones. But the president was not confident enough to tell us about the frontiers uh, testing regime at the airport. We started for $150. The president was not confident enough to tell us how much we had accrued and how much was coming to us and why we were getting that little. The president was not confident. I have also asked a question. Mr. President, good morning to you. I have asked a question as to where the 30% you are deducting from your salaries or you are proposed to deduct from your salaries were going to be put and what specific purpose they were going to be used for. But Mr. President, you are a champion. You are a champion because under your watch, there are ministers who are making flip-flop decisions. And you are allowing them. You have not reshuffled them. You were a champion because you stood in parliament and told us that we are a net exporter of food. Today we are being told after the denial came that we are importing cassava and that the cassava is what? For industrial purpose. As if to suggest that our planting for food and jobs business is dead. You are a champion, Mr. President. Can we not plant cassava in this country? China is where now we collect cassava from. China. We buy cassava in every home in this country. Almost every home, I should say, fufu or fufui, as we call it in Ghana, is eating either on Saturday or Sunday. It's a normal a mainstay. Under your watch today, we are importing cassava from China. We are importing cassava from China. Listen. And President Kufo, your predecessor, that who you served, Mr. President, had the presidential special initiatives on cassava. Do you remember Root Beer? By the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Accra Brewery. Today we are importing cassava. And you are telling us it's for industrial purpose. And the, somebody at the Greek ministry is suggesting that if they get the needed support. I thought you told us that you had gotten, you have given uh, the Greek sector the needed support and that we are now a net exporter of food. We are importing tomatoes from Morocco. We are importing whatever, uh, onions from uh, Burkina. We are importing yam. We are importing everything. So the amount of money we have spent on planting for food and jobs, plus what we told us in 2017 that we have employed 745,000 uh, uh, people. Is this the result? That you are now importing cassava, aside tomato, pepper, onion, all those things. Rice. You are now importing cassava. Mr. President, if you are a champion, be a champion properly. Yo. If you are a champion, be a champion properly. Because cassava is on head of. You are importing cassava into this country. And you still have your Greek minister at post. Mind you, in the previous administration, you had five people at the ministry. There was a minister for a Greek. There was a deputy minister for horticulture. There was a deputy minister for crops. There's a, five people. 
at the same ministry. Then you moved away, you even had a fisheries ministry in aquaculture with a minister and a deputy, chief, chief director. You are importing cassava today. today. Mr. President, you grew up in Ghana and at some time point in the UK. Did you ever hear that when your father was in charge, you imported cassava into this country? And it speaks volumes of what our agri industry has become. The farmers are not happy. Most of them are still doing cutlass and whole farming in this 21st century. They are not happy. You are importing cassava. Hey! This is not good. Mr. President, don't, don't let anybody tell you that it is good. This morning, they'll give you national security briefing. And they will tell you that everything is okay. They are lying to you, Mr. President. Ask the taxi drivers, because your finance minister has lost touch with the local reality. Your finance minister doesn't go to buy Wachi or Gobe. He doesn't buy it. He doesn't buy cocoa. He doesn't even know that now, nowadays, when they give you, they serve you your cocoa in your, plastic, uh, uh, your poly bag, they, there's half, uh, half cocoa. He doesn't know. Your finance minister assumes that everything is okay. I'm told that you want to speak to us on the 30th of March. Better late than never, somebody will say. You told somebody, Mr. President, that it was Professor Doolittle. We don't know what to call you now. Fuel is here. Exchange rate is there. Cost of living is there. Rent is that. Everything is nyama, Mr. President. And you know why that is happening? It is because you have refused to do a reshuffle. Most of your ministers are old, they are weak, and out of fresh ideas. Who? Roads minister, who says he will convert our uh, toll booth into public toilet. Yesterday I, I drove through, I said, ah, but if I'm, I feel pressured, would I stop here to go and pee? Your roads minister, he said that, Mr. President. This was the same man who had said that he was going to introduce a, a increased road tolls at the vetting table. This same man, now he stops Roto and we're collecting about seven to eight million Ghana cities. Monthly, at the Roto points. He stops it. He's causing financial loss to the state. You're watching him. You have not sacked him. Your finance minister has borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and borrowed over borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and borrowed, borrow, 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 borrow. There have been allegations on his head that his company and Blackstar, they benefit from the borrowing. That's why they keep borrowing. We are where we are now because of the people you trusted, Mr. President, and because of the people you gave our country to. They have messed you up. Suck them. But you see, they will come and massage your ego, Mr. President. And because they massage your ego, and maybe somebody may have told you that don't appoint person A, B, C. And you went ahead and you appointed them. You are now feeling shameful. You don't want to sack them. So people say, aha, we told you. Because the team A that you have now, we have seen their performance. I'm not doing you any fine. Which of the sectors is performing? The team A that you have. The old people, your old friends that you have. Which one of them is performing? Which of the sectors? Your vice president recently was cutting sword for uh, Kumasi. If I were him, I would have told you that these roads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten roads, was what I, plan I, I cut sword for in 2019. And in 2022, this is what I'm cutting sword for. Now, he has become a subject of ridicule. And so, so boring is that we are told that our vice president will speak to us on the economy, but we will speak under the banner of a party, youth wing, and something else. When we are running a national agenda, we should run a national agenda, Mr. President. We cannot have even meet the press flyer with MPP colors. That's why I don't show it here. When you are running a national agenda, it must be a national agenda. You advocated for that. We followed you. We loved you, Mr. President. So what is happening? That everything has become party all of a sudden. And there are people within your party who can do the work. 
are people within your party who can do the work. I just showed you presidential special initiative on cassava. Alan Kojo Tremantik, he was the man in charge. We used to supply a crab brewery, cassava, to produce root beer. What happened? Now we are importing cassava from China. Hey! This is not good. It is not good. If the elders in your hometown have not told you, I'm telling you humbly, I have no capacity to advise you, but I'm telling you what it is. This is not good. We are importing cassava from China. The same China that has now mechanized the drying and growing of cocoa. Our farmers still go and cut the cocoa, split the pod, bring out the beans, put it in plantain uh, leaves, and then bring it, put it on their own rafter, spread it out. When it rains, they carry it. And now the Chinese, they are industrializing that. Olam, the people who buy from you, they are now creating 20,000 hectares of cocoa farm. Your Greek minister, who you so trust, says we should not be worried. He's joking. I say you have young people in the MPP party. Then this is my small recommendation before I go. You have young people in the MPP party who can achieve, who can work, who have energy. They are resilient, they are diligent, and they are competent. Use them. And use the old people as board chairman. You put young people as board, board, uh, board members. And you put old people at the helm of affairs. They go to work for two, day, uh, two hours and they go and sleep. That is the reality. They go to two, work for two hours and they go and sleep. They sleep. That's why all your state-owned enterprises are declaring losses. 5.3 billion Ghana cities lost in 2020 alone. We are looking for seven point something for E-Levy. 5.3 billion Ghana cities, Mr. President. Think about it. And I want to encourage you to be man enough, Mr. President, so that when you say you are cutting 30% of your salaries and 20% of the Council of State, you have not told the judiciary to cut, uh, to, uh, to cut their salaries, by the way. Maybe you are, you are not too sure. But the 30% that you are cut, cutting, Mr. President, show us where you are putting the 30%, not in the consolidated fund, because if you force it, it's like a drop in the ocean, you won't find it. Put it in a dedicated account and tell us that you're using it to buy a camera, 5D or RED, and let us monitor. That is how to be accountable. It's in the preamble of our constitution. You have read the constitution cover to cover. So my simple advice to you is that set up a dedicated fund, cut the salaries, put it there, show us what you are doing with it. Number two, your ministers, most of them are old, they are frail, they are weak, they are out of fresh ideas. I thought that when they followed you to Dubai, they would have brought new ideas. They didn't bring any new ideas. They are still talking the same old ideas. Sack them, reshuffle them, and bring new people in. We can't be paying for this. As somebody is a Greek minister, we are importing cassava from China. They say it is for industrial purpose. Is it a different kind of cassava? Are you kidding me, Mr. President? You cannot be doing this. When you spoke on the campaign grounds, you said, Me Babe, Sisan Yama, Busabin She, Name Nana Ado Dan Kwa Kufuado, Mia Bindia. Now we are not seeing it. We are not seeing anything. Yesterday I bought gas. 14 kg that I bought for 96 cities. It's now 167 cities. You know what it means? It affects food production. So the gobe. The wache, the motu, the fufu, all of that will be affected. Then it will go into deliveries. And the taxi drivers who also use gas will be affected. Mr. President, all is not well. All is not well. And you cannot fly one commercial ride uh, 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 or plane to Dubai. And because of that, you, you think that everything is okay. Mr. President, all is not well. Oh. All is not well. When they come this morning, come and tell you that you are doing, they are giving you security briefing, everything is fine. They are lying, Mr. President. They are liars. They are massaging your ego. They are liars. They are liars. Good morning.